If you aren't subscribed to Matt Christensen, you are simping and you're pimping. Guys, go to the description and there's a link in there. By all means, check the guy out. He's strong. Now, a couple of days ago, did a video with Dr. Burks of the federal task force dealing with the CV, where she said we are, and this is at the federal level, counting deaths very liberally and not partic and, and, and I really espouse the difference between the terms with and by in that video. We have a follow-up now where Dr. Fucci, uh, the other main face of the CV task force, comes out and says, no, 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 we're not counting him that way. Now, many people may wonder, oh my goodness, well, why? What, like, how, like, exactly how and why would they play around with this there's a lot of just one dimensional thinkers out there and so without further ado we're going to get into exactly the meat and potatoes of why this um you know the, the these numbers would be so happily uh chopped up let's get into it to contradict themselves and say collectively no that thing that we say we're doing isn't actually happening at all don't be a conspiracy theorist by taking our own words at face value but that's the tr and that's where i was saying dr fucci said one thing dr burke said something else and now it's it's nothing but jambalaya trouble with the listen to the experts narrative that's as far as it goes it's not listen to the experts for coherence or consistency or even truth it's just listen to the experts even if their words start contradicting observable reality because if you don't you're a bad person. And, and that's real. I got into an, a, a bit of a back and forth with someone as this was going on. And they were just like their their automatic position went to, oh, well, you can harm other people. So thusly, if like because of the way that this has been marketed, right? Um, you know, you can your your spittle, your 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 just it all it takes is a little bit to get on you, and the next thing you know, you're you're shriveling up like you're on The Walking Dead. Um, so like it's been used as a bit of a tool, particularly for you know people who don't think uh, a little bit hard or take a more pragmatic uh, view of the world, which there are tons of. And uh, they're just like, oh my god, aren't well? How could you be such a terrible person for wanting? to um you know like infect somebody for, for wanting to possibly infect somebody and it's just like well hold on hold on things have gotten like like how about you take a second and ask a question or two right it's listen to the experts presumes the experts are in agreement you don't mean listen to the experts you mean listen to a particular narrative and a particular perspective with which some experts agree. The experts are not some high council of unanimity we all must obey for any hope at salvation. They disagree with each other just as much as the rest of us. And this is why I really, really like this guy, because it, it, he splits the atom. And, you know, to, to use a metaphor, he continues to keep digging for, you know, like, OK, well, yeah, you're just you're sitting here telling me, oh, listen to the experts. But. Once again, there is a uh, like it, they come from every like even when it comes to climate change. Right. Or like any issue that you bring up. And I've ran, and I ran, I ran across a lot of this while I was doing my work on cannabis reform. Um, you know, no matter what the issue is, there are experts on both sides. It, 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 it like there's good and bad on both sides of every war ever fought. Right. Uh, Game of Thrones fans. <laughs> but that's the truth. And thusly, it, it, like it, it, there's still there's more voices to be heard than just the ones that agree with your opinion or echo the sentiment that you find more appealing. And so in the end, listen to the experts properly translates to shut up and agree with me. And I don't say this hypothetically. I'm not referencing theoretical dissident experts. They are out there. More are emerging every day. It's just they don't get invited onto the big news shows and they can't jump on a presidential podium at their momentary whim. When I yeah, like the MSNBCs, the Foxes, this platform here, uh, like tons, like I remember at least Philip DeFranco and um, what's her name? Lily Singh doing uh, videos with Fachucci and the like, and it's just like, eh. 
discussed the possible overcounting of coronavirus deaths last weekend. Admittedly, the case was anecdotal. Numerous documented cases across the country of deaths clearly attributable to head trauma or heart failure or any number of abrupt causes of death for people who also happened to test positive for coronavirus. And I think that case is compelling, but it did lack demonstration of a systemic reason why this is happening. And so the possibility that these were isolated oddities remained. Is it political motive? Is it an abundance of caution? I considered the plausible reasons for why this might be happening, but I'm kicking myself for not considering what should be the obvious reason, the money. And now that I'm done kicking myself, I'm giving thanks to those of you who sent me the information. The new stimulus bill has several provisions that establish special compensation for hospitals caring for coronavirus patients, particularly those patients who are uninsured, and to otherwise compensate hospitals for, quote, lost revenue attributable to coronavirus. In other words, there are financial incentives in place that say more coronavirus means more money, and I know it's cynical, but if you don't think that's an important factor to consider, I present you with an expert to listen to. Minnesota State Senator and family physician Dr. Scott Jensen, who appeared on Fox this week in part to discuss that financial reality. So you're engaging in conspiracy theories. What do you say to Dr. Fauci tonight? Well, I would remind him that any time time healthcare intersects with dollars, it gets awkward. Right now, Medicare has determined that if you have a COVID-19 admission to the hospital, you'll get paid $13,000. If that COVID-19 patient goes on a ventilator, you get $39,000, three times as much. Nobody can tell me after 35 years in the world of medicine that sometimes those kinds of things impact on what we do. And as Dr. It, uh, yeah, not to cut you off there, Matt. I think I let it run long enough. Um, yeah, see, there is thirty nine thousand dollars per ventilator, and you got uh, no wonder Cuomo, Murphy, and all these other screaming. Oh yeah, we need more ventilators. It puts a little bit of context on it now, doesn't it? it really makes you really get. Uh, honestly, I'm not here to tell you what or how to think. I'm telling you, like, just get that noggin jogging. <laughs> like this got weird. On, real fast, on purpose. Dr. Jensen also describes it's not just a potentially perverse financial incentive. It's federal diagnostic guidelines that are explicitly and intentionally loose. He also appeared on local news this week to discuss the guidelines for counting coronavirus deaths that he received from the CDC. He says these guidelines outright encourage presumption over demonstrated fact. Well, last Friday, I received a seven page document that sort of told me that if I had an 86 year old patient that had pneumonia, but was never tested for COVID-19, but sometime after she came down with pneumonia, we learned that she had been exposed to her son who had no symptoms, but later on was identified with COVID-19, that it would be appropriate to diagnose on the death certificate COVID-19. So in Yeah, yeah. Yeah, seriously, that like that is that right there is the problem is that, you know, they're playing fast and loose in order to like it. I'm, I'm, I don't want to say that they are doing it. what I'm saying is that it seems as if, uh, you know, the legality and shit um, <laughs> that the numbers are being played with hard and loose in order to keep, you know, the 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 spic the cash spigot open and like, oh, because honestly, just in your right mind. Who wouldn't want that opportunity? If like, part, it, like, yo, if like every single person that's on a ventilator is like, th is is like, damn near 40 grand, 40 grand in, in in the pocket, why not? Similar terms, a patient need not even test positive for coronavirus to be listed as a coronavirus death. And that's not an anomaly. That's the specific instruction of the CDC. In the newly released guidance for certifying coronavirus deaths, this is the document Dr. Jensen is referencing, the guidance says where possible, conduct lab testing to make the coronavirus diagnosis. But if you can't or you don't do that, if you presume in your clinical judgment that the patient is a probable case of coronavirus, it is acceptable to report coronavirus on the death certificate. And as we heard Dr. Burks explain. And, and, and so you got the CDC, the, the, the WHO, um, like uh, all of these different 
entities who are really who in their guidelines have made it to made it just advantageous for this to press on and then you sit here and look at oh well you know uh, it, it seems as if the urban areas because i'm african-american whatever uh black whatever you know just like the urban areas are like just getting hit super hard and like yeah it's because they pull them like that shoot they'll they'll just go you don't have an emt go stab a homeless person <laughs> bring them on for that 30 for that 40 grand like bruh i'm just saying not to be like perverse about it but yeah like oh yeah we're gonna send the lambs to slaughter why not oh yeah like it, like it when you're playing fast and loose and you have the you got the hood you got these urban spaces where like oh yeah nana went out because of a hip but shoot man like her her cut her son had cv so we're gonna just go back and say that yeah we'll see guys Guys, come on, man. Come on. I, I feel like I'm losing my mind here. In whether it's the primary cause of death or just a tangential factor, you can count that one in the scare tally. We have some lockdowns to maintain. Well, maybe this is normal. You may be thinking maybe it's not uncommon to put presumed cause of death on a death certificate. Physician judgment is always going to play a part in these calls, sure. But Dr. Jensen says this level of comfort with uncertainty is something new. I went to the person in our office who does most of the death certificates over the last, you know, 10, 20 years. And I said, does this sound right? I had her look at the documents that I had printed it off. And she said, well, we've always been told that you always put down just facts. You don't put down any probabilities. You don't put any presumptions down. It's just what you know. And he's not the only one. Internal medicine physician Dr. Annie Bukacek from Kalispell, Montana, has over 30 years experience practicing medicine, much of that experience with death certificates, unfortunately, and she spoke this week about the same issue, the CDC's encouragement to get fast and loose with counting coronavirus deaths. The assumption of COVID-19 death can be made even without testing. Based on assumption alone, the death can be reported to the public as an another COVID-19 casualty. The March 24th, 2020 National Vital Statistics System memo states, and I quote, the rules for coding and selection of the underlying cause of death are expected to result in COVID-19 being the underlying cause more often than not. COVID-19 caused death, end of quote, and quote, assumed death by COVID-19, end of quote, are not the same thing. Dying with COVID-19 is not the same as dying from COVID-19. How many people have actually died from COVID-19 is anyone's guess. But based on how death certificates are being filled out, you can be certain the number is substantially lower than what we are being told. I want to ask... So... Boom. Boom. I, I think that that's a, actually a really perfect place. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it on this lady and due to, you know, she is a doctor, so strokes. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. But either ways, uh, yeah, you know, I said that literally in the video at with Dr. Bricks. I've been saying this this entire time. And once, uh, you know, these good folks and the like that, like this starts to really get around. Uh, hopefully people will realize how we're really getting played here. I mean, I sincerely doubt it. I just got finished doing a video on um, Cardi B. But at the same time, it's just like, hey, come on, come on, snap out of it. Snap out of it. You, you can't be like one man, <clears throat> the orange one, cannot make you so, I guess, like, you know, like it's like so jittery, so scary, you know? <laughs> But either ways, guys, I want to give a just a fantastic, a gigantic. Hold on, where's he at? No, 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 no. All right, big shout out to Matt Christensen. Uh, the dude is a hundred percent professional about his business. The link is in the description. Go check him out. Seriously, the dude is on point. Fantastic content. With that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss a like, this like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you, if you enjoy my favorite. <laughs> Really, Dre? If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day, share it because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. If it wasn't for the shares, I honestly, like, I wouldn't be pulling anywhere near the numbers that I do. So thank you. Endlessly thank you. And speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? 
just if like when, when I, like this, this is eventually going to come out like in 10 years or five years or so somebody's going to write a book but there is definitely definitely a lot of questions that need to be answered like as uh we are getting going into forced lockdowns on monday in newark right uh the, the like how are you counting these deaths man <laughs> seriously i keep asking no one got an answer why because uh, this is it's just another example of the establishment here's the thing establishment and and this this very well may just be me. And if you've lasted through this video this long, God bless you. But the deal is, is this, my question is like like since nine eleven, you really haven't been secretive at all. You know, like the the like the 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 the, the, the BS has been slipping for a real long time. And it's just like, yo, things is like everything really came to a head back in 2016. And they're going to continue going through that head in 2020. You, you, you know, we reap what we sow, right? Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one.